Hi, I'm Pakrat12 and today we play with uh, this elastic uh, grid and uh, each row has a different height and uh, uh, it comes with uh, its own uh, columns and uh, this is uh, uh, similar with the uh, last tutorial uh, the difference is uh, we don't use any feedback here and uh, instead of uh, solving uh, one column and going into a, a feedback we have to to solve uh, all the columns and uh, yeah let's uh, start this uh, clean so we need a, a constant chop and uh, here we go with uh, res x res y so res x res y uh, rows and columns Okay, uh, let's see, 1280, uh, 720, and let's go with uh, 9 by 16 for now, and have a null here. Okay, so we start with the uh, Y axis, and um, we need a noise top with uh, 1 by the number of rows okay and this is uh, 32 mono let's have it uh, nearest pixels okay now let's have an, a null and maybe chain another null here in order to have a folder so null click outside collapse selected okay let's uh, name this uh, scale y okay let's go inside now the first thing we want to to do is make sure the uh, the heights are not uh, uh, negative by any chance so uh, we use a mat here and uh, we go with uh, positive let's have this uh, nearest pixel also okay and now we go with uh, an analyze and we go for uh, um, column okay sum column or uh, full image is the same in this case and we use a composite here and uh, divide and we take input one for the resolution and uh, yeah let me make sure that uh, we have one here so uh, okay we good and now we we uh, solve for the positions okay let's have a, a null here click outside collapse selected uh, this is uh, pos y okay we don't need this null let's go inside okay and let's see first uh, let's use a flip okay bottom left uh, fit let's go outside open this window Okay, this fit has to be 9 by 9. Okay, and uh, we go with nearest pixels and uh, fill. Okay, okay. And here we use a ramp. Okay, so this ramp is uh, radial. We have uh, for position 0, 0,5, 0, 0,5, and for phase we have 5 divided by 8. We don't need anti allies, and uh, let's go with nearest pixels. And now we use a mat and we go with a round. And now we have a nice 0, 0,1 texture, and we multiply this texture. Okay. 
here we use an analyze and we go with uh, sum uh, for the rows okay okay and from this input here we use a mod for taking the half of it so we multiply with uh, one divided by two and then we add those two together so add like this okay now uh, in the end we, we will need here a different uh, resolution so let's have a fit and go with uh, columns by rows okay nearest pixels and uh, fill okay this this is a position for the y and uh, the scale for the y is here so uh, let's copy this uh, fit and we can drag this line here and now we have uh, uh, the scale for the y also okay now we need to do the same thing for the x now or uh, uh, we have uh, um, 16 in this case 16 columns but for for each of the rows and they are moving independently okay and uh, to make this we need here a noise not here inside so uh, noise and we go with uh, 16 by now so uh, again columns by rows okay nearest pixels uh, this is um, 32 mono okay and again uh, for the the scale we make sure we don't have uh, 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 negative values inside and as we are interested for the values on on the rows okay this analyze here should take the rows okay and now we are good and we need this uh, uh, folder let's let's copy this folder but uh, let's go inside okay now yeah it will be quite similar but uh, let's let's build this uh, from scratch so okay let's use a uh, fit here and what what uh, we know is uh, for uh, let's say for for nine uh, values in order to to put them uh, next to each other okay uh, we need a texture nine by nine to make that uh, um, uh, formula um, for the for the position if we know the the scales and in this case we have uh, 16 values for each of the rows and so we need 16 by 16 and nine times as as uh, how many rows we have so let's let's do that with this uh, uh, fit let me uh, have again this window okay and inside here i want to use this fit with um, 16 by 16 and for the y i multiply with the values for the rows like this and uh, yeah let's go with the uh, nearest pixels and uh, fill and now you see we have some squares with the uh, vertical uh, lines and uh, we need uh, that uh, ramp so we can copy this ramp out of here so okay the difference is this ramp now uh, has to be 16 by 16 or uh, how many columns we have so let's use this okay and I need this uh, uh, diagonal ramp zero one for each of the the squares here 
so I use a group okay and we go with the uh, rows for the group top okay now we have this uh, nice resolution and let's multiply those two okay and uh, here we use an analyze like this we go with the uh, rows and uh, sum and we have something like uh, nice ramps that even though they, they are semi ramps uh, right now but uh, okay so we need to go back into the uh, into our resolution okay so let's use uh, point repack here and repack this into columns by rows okay and uh, yeah this should be added with the uh, half of this input so we use a mat we divide by two okay and let's add them okay and we have an out here like this and uh, oh we already have out okay so this is position for x and uh, scale for x is this okay now let's go outside and uh, use uh, two reorders okay so reorder and for this one we go with uh, position x position y this uh, takes input to for uh, green and is uh, rg okay and let's have a null and we rename this uh, position okay and the same reorder uh, takes uh, scale x and scale y and no this is scale okay and now uh, we instance a grid with uh, two rows two columns okay let's use a geometry and we go with the uh, instancing this is for the translate this is for scale uh, for both of them we go rg okay yeah seems uh, good let's put some colors so first we have a, a render here camera and uh, this camera is uh, orthographic bottom left and one and now yeah let's have a constant okay and uh, we use a, a noise top which takes columns for x uh, resolution and rows for y in null we name this uh, color okay let's have those pink uh, this is um, 32 rgb and not monochrome okay and let's use this color uh, here okay r g i believe rgb okay for sure rgb now okay uh, let's play those noises with um, abs time dot seconds 
divided by 16. Okay. So yeah, we have a, a nice uh, uh, motion. But the, you notice here the the all the the grids are, are in a, a square formation. Okay. And uh, this render is a landscape, and obviously we we uh, lost some of the uh, rows from the top here, and um, we can fix this very simple by going into this scale y. Remember, uh, if we sum all those uh, uh, values, we get one, and we need uh, to get to the ratio actually. So. We use a mod. Let's have these nearest pixels. And uh, here we use uh, resolution y divided by resolution x. OK. And now we have all the all the rows. OK. And uh, Let's uh, let's have here uh, edge, and also for the render we we use uh, our resolution. Okay, this is uh, thirty two RGB, and uh, yeah, no anti aliases, as we we have only straight lines. And so from this edge, you see uh, the lines are either thicker or thinner, and uh, we can solve this using a mat. And we go ceiling. And now uh, level. And uh, yeah, let's go with invert, and we multiply with this. And now we have the the final output. Okay. So let's see. Okay, now we can go crazy with this uh, um, rows and columns number. Let's uh, let's go 32 with uh, 64. Everything is uh, super fast, uh, and uh, yeah, the FPS is running uh, smooth. So um, this was my tutorial. I really hope you like this. Thank you so much for watching. You can support me on Patreon. Uh, you get access to a bunch of other tutorials. This was my last tutorial for this uh, 2021. At, um, but I, I'll do make uh, two more uh, for uh, for my patrons. In, in one of uh, them, we take this uh, a little bit further and we, we build um, a UV uh, out of these uh, cells like um, like here so uh, yeah thank you so much for for watching and uh, thanks to all my patreon for the support see you in the next one bye